we've got a thing in South London. Uh, it's a bit like a tube, but it's big and red and goes over ground, and it's called a bus. And uh, this poem's about that. It's called 176. The bus was always full of pricks, children and proud lunatics. The elderly with walking sticks would sit and moan and stare and bitch. In the morning, fucking freezing. In the afternoon, it's even. Never there when you need them. Choking on the smoke they're breathing. Ferry for young boys with knives who wear hoods and hate for lies. The drivers act like they despise every other person. The bus was always full of cunts, unafraid to push and shove. Girls the size of elephants would shriek and shout and slurp and grunt. They'd try and pack you in like cattle, make getting home a fucking battle. A nauseous motions engine rattle for a pissed up pestilential rabble. They stopped to regulate their service. Double decker red fuck curses. Then you hear them bitter curses. I could have got a chew bitches. <laughs> Next one's about uh, a mate of mine from university who, who was a proper like uh, punk, like uh, he's from like mid Wales but supported West Ham because of the Cockney rejects and that, so like proper, you know, Mohawk tartan jobby. Uh, and now he's off fighting in a war apparently. Goes a bit like this. He was a punk when I knew him, now he's in the RAF He swapped his old DMs and Mohawk for a brand new fighter jet I reckon he'll be dead soon when they ship him out to war A skinhead in a uniform, been given what for? You should have stayed at home mate, you wanna go and become a copper? They'll post him back bit by bit once he's come a cropper He swapped safety pins for camo and anarchy for health Bullet belts alive, I know now but can punks really do stealth? <laughs> One day I'll meet and ask him, does Blitzkrieg Bop sound better in Baghdad? Ever fallen in love with someone else's war and you're stuck out in Iraq? And do you feel London's calling when you're dug into the sand? A pinhead dumbing God save the Queen with a rifle in his hand. Do you have complete control when you're out to search and destroy? Or are you fighting minor threats that are half soldier, half boy? It was a punk one I knew him, but I don't know him anymore. At least he had a decent soundtrack of fighting in his war. Cheers. Some people say they hate police and make for no exception. But there's wankers in all walks of life and pricks in all professions. I'm sure there's clowns that hate the young and teachers hate their lessons. Or kids' TV personalities with unhealthy obsessions. Now then, now then. <laughs> I'm sure some Nazis are only in it for them snazzy uniforms, for the days hard work and the goose step gimmick and the social side of it all. I'm sure there's vegan butchers, Muslim brewers and male stylists who ain't gay. I'm sure there's pyromaniac firemen just in it for the pay. <laughs> Dealers have ripped me off far more times than any copper could do, but I'll take an underway eighth any day than a beating from a bully in blue. Cheers. <laughs> Has um, anyone ever listened to uh, LBC, London's premier London-based talk radio station? I listen to that. I like it. Fucking hell. <laughs> this is for you. Anyway, uh, it's supposed to stand for London's biggest conversation, but I I'm not so sure about that one. It's, um, it goes a bit like this. London's biggest conversation continues and we all phone in with our sick views The global economy is controlled by Jews Women buy too many shoes Nine in five children are sexually abused and the Polish are coming after you All young people carry knives or married men beat up their wives Paedophiles are everywhere Aliens have landed and no one cares Only Nazis do cocaine But I think the parents are the ones to blame Plumbers, Muslims and redheads are evil Students are lazy and you can't trust gay people. Night time is too dark, abroad is always too far. Far away ain't far enough. I think prison should be more tough. It's too hot, it's too cold. Young people are too old. Old people stink a piss, but they're the only ones who listen to this shit. And so London's biggest conversation will continue. Thank you. Now I've offended someone that listens to RBC. Is anyone from Manchester? Yeah! yeah. Oh, well, I've done on escaping that, though. Right? Um, it's literally the, the only place that I've seen a woman beat up the pavement, right? It's, it's about as classy as a punch up in a chip shop, like. Right? 
Uh, it's just called Booze Britain Audition. It's uh, about uh, a girl I saw in Manchester. She's a wee bit fatter than your average slapper, all caked on makeup and eye all clatter. She's walking like a newly born pissed up dinosaur, four bottles of Lambrinian and clearly up for more. Tomorrow morning she'll be saying, I think my drink got spiked. Now was that the rum, the vodka or tequila from last night? She's got a neon orange tan and a slagginess that's hereditary. She's predatory of any man. I've got nightmares where she's chasing me. <laughs> the pavement moves and trips her up. She screams that you're a dickhead. But the pavement's calm and dignified in silent response to what she said. Cheers. Can I squeeze in one more, one more? Alright, uh, this, this is about um, open mics. Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah alright, this one's about open mics. Uh, an unfortunate uh, experience I had at one. Goes to me like And anyone that takes offence, it's not about you, but if you are taking offence, maybe you should rethink things. <laughs> he borrows your guitar, he tunes for half an hour, he breaks his drink on singer thing and empties out the bar. And the audience I'm left with after music's genocide, they look at me unpleasantly with murder in their eyes. He leaves me geezers who do as they please, the lunatics on day release, and winos just that tad unstable, far too pissed to leave their table. His songs they go on far too long and truly end the night. You could sing Wonder Wolf, I found. Thousand times and not save this open mic. Cheers, I'm a done on. Yeah.